hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here we are welcoming you to the twazi fam please do subscribe because i'm sure you're going to be here to stay well hopefully and for the regular schmegular jugulars welcome back my loves i appreciate y'all for getting me to this level of growth in the youtube community and i've officially been monetized and ads are being played on some of my videos so please 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 watch the adverts to get your girl some coins <laughs> coins shmoney so yeah without further ado let's get it started with this video so today i am doing my first sit down video since i've given birth to my baba maya as you guys saw with my previous upload the raw and real birth vlog i did if you haven't watched it i will put the link down in the description down in the description bar so you guys can just see what i went through i'm obsessed with the comments because everyone thinks i was so calm i wasn't dramatic but i just feel like i still wasn't like calm calm i just was so tired and drained to get screaming and all the drama that people expected or what people see usually when people give birth it was such a zen moment for me as much as my pregnancy was such a peaceful pregnancy so i was just so ready i guess even though i didn't have my hospital bag packed i was just ready you know even though it happened sooner than i expected it to i was still ready and watching all the birth videos learning my breathing techniques and all that really helped me really really helped me to read whoa there's this fly in my ah, ah, there's this fly in my beauty room i'm losing my mind so as i was saying um it was just calm because i prepared myself more just because i've been through it and yeah i will get into the birth story and newborn must-haves with the next video right now let's focus on something i feel like will be helpful for a lot of new moms and even regular regular moms like me this is my second child second baby girl so i've been through this but this time around i was more woke i know better the first time prepared me for this time so I just know better with a lot of things and yeah let's get it started uh, let's get it started in here <laughs> so guys you are um, this is a postpartum healing slash what goes on down there in your hoo-ha after you've given birth pretty much the real tea of what really goes down there what really goes on in your vagina after you have pushed a beautiful human out of it the healing process is a bit it's it's, it's intense and if you're not prepared i feel like you will you know you'll make a lot of mistakes and going through it for the first time with mercy because she was also a vaginal birth baby this time around i was more prepared and the difference between these two births with mercy i had third degree tears so third degree tears are from your vagina this is your vagina hole and then there's a little rectum and then your booty hole so a third degree tear is when you tear like this this um rectum part like just after your vagina hole connecting to your booty hole it's when 
you take almost close to it so i tore very deeply with mercy it's my first baby she was three kg it usually happens when you're a first time mom because that area hasn't been through such trauma before so i tore really badly with mercy i had third degree tears and the worst tear you can get i think is a four degree tear correct me if i'm wrong but i had third degree tears so my tear was literally almost my booty hole and my vagina hole being one hole so i had more stitches with mercy than i did this time around so the healing process with mercy took much longer and i could only get jiggy with it basically have sex again after eight weeks i waited almost two it was two months eight weeks is two months right yeah like almost eight weeks and then um healing process usually happens from your six weeks checkup moving forward so i didn't even feel ready to to do anything until after eight weeks because i still felt very sensitive down there so this time around i had a scratch on my libya on my yeah my libya just that side just next to the clit i had a little scratch there i'm sure you've seen it if you've previously watched my birth vlog so i had a scratch this time around and got that like i did with mercy i was really like freaking out and this baby was slightly bigger than mercy she was three point zero nine five or three point nine five around there at 37 weeks so if i had to wait for 40 weeks it would have been a bigger baby so she just came by herself spontaneous labor because i feel like my body can't carry a heavier baby because it only knows a 3 kg baby your body knows it knows these things you know what i mean as much as we think like it doesn't it really knows how to respond to everything so this time having that little scratch i had like one stitch on the little scratch like she fixed that little part that got scratched and you could feel it dude like a baby getting in your birth canal out into the world it does a lot of strain to your body so the healing process has to happen regardless of how deeply you tore or how less you tore you're still gonna feel it you know what i mean and one thing i felt a lot was my uterus contracting immediately after and <laughs> guys it's it's hectic it's hectic like every time the baby latches on your boob every time you breastfeed because i started breastfeeding at the hospital like that was her first bulk because the first yellow cholesterol or colostrum is very good for the baby it has antibodies it's like the best juices so they will literally advise you to rather get that cholesterol into your baby and i feel like it helped with that green first poop that your baby has um has to release while you guys are still at the hospital hold on so um the healing process this time around was much better but i could still feel so like i felt the pain and every time baby would breastfeed i would feel like hectic period pains that's number one the number one thing you're gonna feel is hectic period pains every time your baby latches as your uterus contracts that is number one and they're gonna literally not force you but make you want to i'm on the thing i'm recording um it'll make you feel like i need to breastfeed like that mom guilt is a real thing so I did it regardless of the pain I was feeling, the hectic period pains from the baby's latching while my uterus contracts with every suck 
everything is sensitive and what they give you at the hospital is um that those bum pills mercy i'm recording i'm recording stop calling me tell cc um those bum those stool softeners it's like a pull it's like a long juicy pill it's like vase lighty that you slide up your asshole that helps with um your first bowel movement eventually so it's just painful everything is just painful down there just be prepared if it's your first child be prepared if it's your second child be prepared like it's a lot going on bringing life is not as cute as it looks as much as I made it look cute, I still went through a lot, you know, postpartum. Ah, huh? um, it'll make you feel like I need to breastfeed, like that mom guilt is a real thing. So, I did it regardless of the pain I was feeling, the hectic period pains from the baby's latching while my uterus contracts with every suck everything is sensitive and what they give you at the hospital is um that those bum pills um those bum those stool softeners it's like a pull it's like a long juicy pill it's like vase lighty that you slide up your asshole that helps with um your first bowel movement eventually so it's just painful everything is just painful down there just be prepared if it's your first child be prepared if it's your second child be prepared like it's a lot going on bringing life is not as cute as it looks as much as i made it look cute i still went through a lot you know postpartum ah huh? she poo I'm coming. My daughter pooed. So I need to go change her quickly. So, um, it's a lot that happens to your body to bring life. So the stool softeners were the first things I got literally from my delivery bed the nurse was like after we delivered baby after having our skin to skin moment the nurse was like you need to go try pee I know it's gonna be hard that first pee <laughs> it's the scariest feeling like I don't know if I felt it more this time around Oh, I was just so paranoid because I've been through it before you need to try like obviously after the baby comes out a lot of blood is gonna come out so obviously that's happening I'm bleeding for Africa and now this lady wants me to try and release my bladder it's very important to just not hold pee and try have your first pee so i'm in the labor room she's literally like there helping me get up to get to the toilet everything is just so sensitive i'm very fragile i'm the most fragile i've ever felt in the longest time which was five years ago when i had my first born so this is me like i'm even walking it's hard it's sore i had no epidural this time so i think i felt it more because nothing is numb the last time everything was a bit numbish and now like um, everything is raw i'm feeling every sensation so i'm going to the toilet i try to sit down but i just can feel that there's no pee no urge i don't even know why but like it's just everything feels very odd down there it feels very scary it feels very sensitive it feels very raw so just trying to pee was probably the hardest thing ever like that is number one trying to get your first bladder 
movement like your bladder to release it's very important so that it's not like everything building up in that little space they literally urge you to pee and try peeing so that you don't get an infection it's a lot of things that can accumu accumulate if you just try to hold everything in so they literally gonna force you to get that first pee out of your system so that your body gets back to its normal self eventually so it was hard and obviously you know pee came out i was just bleeding and bleeding i was like hey lady nothing is coming out yet so she's just like okay you need to keep trying like try go to the toilet at least every two to three hours whether you're feeling the urge or not keep trying so i was eventually moved to my um recovery room at the ward and yeah like i was there with the baby i had to keep trying to pee obviously and obviously now they are checking up on me like every 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 time obviously i'm healing i'm recovering I to take pain medication so they gave me the what is it a linen diclofenic sap 100 mg insert one suppository what suppository twice daily into your rectum i don't know if i'm reading right but yeah this is how i don't know if you guys can see it it's how it looks not to be taken orally literally that sticker is there so these are the pills that you put in your bum bum that will eventually help you to get your first bowel movement this is how they look a linen de clefinic or finis i don't know how to say it actually let me do this and of course the usual that you will need it's um your carry wool for your growing needs maternity pads these are vital these are a must-have like you can never go wrong i feel like they're better than the dr white's personally i didn't even try buying the dr white's when these ran out i kept ordering more via zolzi and they actually run out of discam you'll see for yourself so just try stock up before they run out like stock them up before you actually give birth because they run out and this is how the pad looks it has like this white part here and it's pink at the back it's long it's very comfy and with that pad you wear that literally immediately after you try make your first um pee so these should be packed in your hospital bag already and they do give you at the hospital but i didn't get any from them no i actually um there was a net care bag they gave me which also had so they actually do give you um i was on medical aid birth this time so it really helped more i saved money so when you're on medical aid you still get benefits your hospital bag even if you pay cash because you pay and you're still gonna get your net care hospital bag or whatever hospital you're using because yeah you're paying for those services so they will give you a hospital bag but have your own because the samples they give you is not enough to last you for a while so you need to have extras so I had those packed and they gave me at the hospital and then another necessity after birth is these maternity hospital panties curry wool they are very comfortable very stretchy not tight because anything that tightens your tummy is still gonna hurt you because you're just sensitive your uterus is contracting so these undies are very comfortable very stretchy 
and they're just the best so what you do is have it like this in your see the pad inside and then yeah you have it like this your legs are gonna go through here so those are a must-have postpartum you can get the panties from discam baby city toys okay babies are us so just stock up on your own don't depend on what the hospital is going to give you because you will definitely need extras definitely so those obviously you're going to start wearing at the hospital because you'll be bleeding a lot from the time you're there taking your medication which is your stool softeners and your painkillers and yeah i eventually got to pee while i was in recovery room on that first day i think in the evening i had my first bladder release it was the scariest thing in life like i was so scared to let the pee go because i didn't know if i'm going to feel any burning sensation it was just a nightmare it was the most traumatizing pee i ever had to have because you're was scary and then the pee eventually released it burned because i had a scratch a little tear and a stitch on my libya so it burned but it wasn't like the worst but it burned i wouldn't lie it burned and if you probably have deeper tears it's gonna burn more i can imagine if i didn't have an epidural with mercy how my first pee would have felt even after my pee was always difficult for me like it was always difficult and eventually because of the stool softeners i also had my first bowel movement at the hospital it was also very scary and you don't want to be using tissues anything dry down there so just try avoid that so what i also had postpartum healing was these toddler wipes Um, baby green for nature and baby 100% biodegradable wipes and scented sensitive hyper allergic so I use these instead of tissue to wipe my vagina they are very nice and fresh have very fresh nothing strong pure water 99% was what was used to create them so they don't um sting or hurt you down there so wipes are a must-have much better than tissue because tissue is dry and you're still very sensitive down there so i would just advise avoid tissue by all means until you're done healing and wipes are just so much better even when i'm not like on my healing process like my normal self i buy the intimate wipes instead of um tissue i feel like tissue is just the ghetto you can use it for your ass sometimes if maybe you forgot your wipes but i just try use wipes for my vagina regardless so these ones are the best postpartum and then what also helped me was these um gel packs 300 ml they are reusable They are reusable i got these when i was shopping at kids Imper imperium in waterfall corner what i love about them is that they're reusable so you can use it hot or cold i preferred it cold so i'd put it in the fridge this also helps with the healing this is how it looks to cool that area down there you don't want anything that's moist and hot because that place is already hot and sore from healing so what i would do sometimes is take this put my pad over it and then it's obviously from the fridge when i'm healing and then put it in the underwear 
wear that and it's not heavy because i've heard some of them are heavy you can use a diaper as well a, like a baby diaper to create your own eye set up but these are just much better these ice packs are much better put your pad on put your maternity underwear and wear it together it just soothes that area makes it cooler and yeah anything cool is just helpful and it's reusable which is what i like it's not disgusting because you can just rinse this and keep it you know clean so gel packs are a must have you need gel packs you just cool that area numb it out a little bit feel less pain to a more to a more successful and less traumatizing healing process they really help me and then obviously you'll need other pads like once maybe you're run, running out of your maternity pads after two weeks you've used so much or maybe you eventually just run out of pads your all these ultras maxis thick long these are the long ones also could help you so these are just normal pads i use this i think three weeks after three weeks after so these are just normal pads so yeah you'll need normal pads as well after you've overused or after you've used your maternity pads and then moisturizing your body is what we're gonna get into but first this also helped me this particular product it's a bulb syringe you can also use a douche applicator but i don't want anything hectic so what i would do is fill this up with water and rinse my vagina with it instead of using my fingers so this really helped you can get a disc came or you can get a douche applicator if you want but i don't want to sh shove anything in there at all because come on like it's so sensitive anything to do with shoving a tampon shoving a zig ew like dicks don't exist for the first weeks of healing i don't want anything to go up there at all and this doesn't have to go up there you just fill it with water there's your vagina you just spray to rinse it out with water when you're bathing instead of using your fingers to rinse your vagina the cleaner the better bath twice a day it's just so much better and obviously in your bath some epsom salt this helps with relaxing your body relieves your mind and it soothes that area anything salty will help even normal basic epsom salt it doesn't have to be this doctor it doesn't have to be this doctor tills one so yeah salt in your bath water is a very helpful and it also has a bubble bath that i got in dr teal's soothing bubble bath which i think is much better than your normal bubble bath you're just trying to avoid anything with too much chemicals until you fully heal i am currently five weeks postpartum next week no i'm lying this week it's monday today so tomorrow tuesday i am five weeks and i'm going for my first six weeks checkup next week tuesday and then obviously doctor will tell me i feel stronger like i'm not feeling any more pain i'm not feeling any more contraction contracting of my uterus i feel good i'm not scared to wipe my wipe my vagina or wash my vagina with my hands anymore i'm using wipes obviously throughout because they just a, cl a cleaner option but like everything has healed i feel strong i feel like i can start gym but i'm gonna get a go ahead from my doctor next week after my six weeks checkup 
and yeah guys basically yeah that's all the products that you're gonna need for your healing postpartum to just um assist you with your healing down there that's what worked for me and i don't think you'll go wrong with any of these products and it just makes the process of healing much more soothing much more faster and yeah you can get most of these at discam pharmacies and it clicks some of them but i usually um prefer to go to a big discam we have one right here the closest mall to me is mall of africa so i just stocked up on every single thing i needed there and yeah guys i think i've covered everything more or less How long did it take you to heal because i went through the most it took me six painful weeks to heal it takes you you need four to six weeks and some more depending on how severe your tears were so just take it easy you brought life into this world your body needs time it took nine months for that baby to grow and you need time for everything whether it's your weight healing you can't rush the process so four six weeks max and some people even longer so it's normal six weeks is pretty normal that's like yeah that's why you go for a six weeks checkup i heard the first bowel movement is very painful this is still softness stool softness help it is very traumatizing very painful very weird you feel like everything is loose and all your guts are gonna fall out but truly speaking i feel like those stool softness help the process ease the process so they truly do help does the clit really get ripped and if it happened to you is it ever the same again i had a scratch on my clit doctor fixed that with like one little stitch and it looks the same like it's not dangly i don't feel the scratch anymore because i've healed um another question what's the process of healing tears in sa in the musitan salt baths probably similar because i also sat in a salt bath and everything else that i showed you in this video for postpartum healing also helped me i'm about to give birth okay next next question i'm about to give birth what do you need to take care of yourself to heal you need all those things that i started with at the beginning of this video to heal after you give birth and to take care of yourself that's what you need girl got you um does it feel the same or is it too early to ask what feels the same the vagina i'm guessing now it feels the same like i can feel that it's healed i'm not feeling pain anymore i'm not taking painkillers and you are so you eventually get back to yourself eventually just try heal the right way don't rush yourself and yeah the pain the pain is back it's it's okay that's the next question how's the pain the pain is back like postpartum is flames but all these products help the painkillers all these soothing things i um implemented in my healing process really helped did you tie your stomach after giving birth and what did you use duke waist trainer i used nothing absolutely nothing i tried to wear a waist trainer i think i wore it for 20 minutes i was hungry i took that thing and threw it away it was squashing me it was uncomfortable i was like fuck it i don't need it let me just let my body heal naturally and i'll do the right thing at gym after my six weeks checkup i got myself a sweat belt from take a lot which i'll be using while i'm gymming waist trainers just hurt me i used them at first with mercy but i feel like i don't need them this time around because 
my body was really kind to me because I worked out before pregnancy like I used to work out hard and during this pregnancy I worked out so I think it really helped with my healing process and my tummy going down faster my uterus contracting back to its original size so yeah without having to bind always train so all the gymming fitness really helped me I believe so um did you have any tear how long did it take to heal i answered this did you apply anything while pregnant for tearing also does it really go back to normal i did not apply anything on my what prenatal or those rectum massages i didn't know how I, i've googled it before but i i didn't know how to massage my rectum at all so i didn't do it and I think my first baby opened the way. It was like, I've been through this before. So this one didn't hear me like the first baby did. So I think that also helped having a baby already. Is it painful, the stitches, and are you not hurting yourself by wearing leggings after a week? Nope, it wasn't painful. I have all these soothing products that help me, the painkillers, so I was pretty fine. One thing about me, if it's uncomfortable, I won't do it. If it hurts, I won't do it. So if I'm doing it, just know it's not painful, it's painless, and it's comfortable. That's why I'm doing it. How do you, do you get your tummy back? Work out, be a health freak before you get pregnant. By the time pregnancy finds you, it's okay and you feel good and strong to carry on your healthy fit, fitness lifestyle and it really helps with your birthing and your snapback procedure. Well, for me, it personally helped me. How long does it take for the stitching to heal? Give your body four to six weeks or more depending on how badly you tore. Uh, are you exclusively breastfeeding? I'm expressing milk. That's what I'm doing. Do you get stitches and do they fall out naturally? I got a one stitch on my labia because that's where I tore. And yeah, naturally like heals and you feel like it never happened or you never stitched anything if you're taking good care of yourself and not ripping and pulling anything and being rough around that area. It will naturally disappear and dissolve. How did you keep your tummy flat? Workout, workout, workout. Is the coochie ever the same? I answered this one. It's tight down there. It's tight, honey. I feel like a virgin. <laughs> Please detail your experience with fourth trimester vaginal bleeding. How long it lasts for bathing remedy? Okay, I spoke about all of this in the beginning of the video, so that will answer the question. For how long did you bleed after giving birth? I answered this one. Why do you require a pad after birth? I think it's called a diaper because you just had a baby, you are going to bleed for Africa afterwards. That's part of the healing process to bleed and just take out all that blood and that excess yeah you need time to heal you literally had nine months to grow that human so you need to be patient with your healing process um does your baby sleep own room cottages my baby is sleeping in a co-sleeper in our bedroom she does have a nursery but we have a co-sleeper in our room she'll probably start sleeping in her nursery throughout the night from six months right now we have a co-sleeper in our bedroom I get enough sleep I'm guessing because I have help from hubby nope I didn't have sex for a while and I listened to my body I think we had sex for the first time this week and it felt fine like it was hard it felt like I'm a virgin but yeah it happened because I felt strong I've healed and I had this conversation with my doctor and he's like I'll also confirm your healing with your six weeks checkup but by the sounding of things he said we could try 
because I did tell him how I'm feeling and my healing process so far. Do you have any stretch marks and can you feel your vagina being open? Giving birth, yes, you can feel that something is trying to come out. So I definitely felt my vagina being open. There was no epidural. No stretch marks for me. And actually speaking about stretch marks, this tissue oil really helped me. And I believe... Mmm, focus. I believe stretch marks are genetics so yeah we're not the same I don't even know if the products that really helped or prevented them but I really didn't struggle with any of those and then also this internatal massage lotion happy event so I'd mix this with the tissue oil yeah, you can get that from your clicks, your discams and all that. Guys, I need to hurry up. My battery is low. Feel pain literally for the first three weeks, like majorly. That's when it's back. That's when you're sensitive and need painkillers to survive. Of course it hurts, like does it hurt? okay this is the next question i answered it before telling you guys it definitely hurts after birth it hurts as fuck not a postpartum cue but does pressure may already feel like a long hangover nope everything happens so fast like time is just flying by so nothing feels long i'm even like shook that i have a baby again i have like two babies i'm still like processing that like getting used to that new reality how how to deal with black neck bums underarms and tummy thankfully i didn't have that pigmentation and i feel like you can't deal with it you just have to let your body be we're not the same and eventually after you give birth and you have your healthy baby your body will get back to its normal self eventually just give it time don't be hard on yourself. Don't compare yourself to anyone. We're not the same. They stitched me small. I had a scratch. Oh, the question was, did you have stitches? So I had one stitch. Um, does it itch or it's just calm? For me, it was just calm because of all these products I used. I didn't have any itching going on. Did your tummy just go back to normal after you delivered? It was still bulgy, but it did deflate. I was shook. I thought it was going to be bigger, so it did deflate. But like by like four days, five days later, it was smaller and smaller. It came became smaller every week, basically. Not a question, but a Uzimbawako in CMB. Your body, yeah. <laughs> That's not a question, thank you. What do you wash with? I wash with all the products I showed you and water. How long do you have to wait before? Four to six weeks before sexual act, being sexually active. The bleeding, how's the bleeding? The bleeding stopped within three weeks for me. Did you belly bind? If so, how? No, I didn't. Did you get any stitches with baby number one or two? I answered that. How much did you tear? I had an epitopsiomy and I wish they could have just let me tear natural. I didn't tear this time around, but with mercy, I had third degree tears. It was a natural tear because baby was just too big for my body. But you usually tear with your first kid. Like, that's just facts. Do you get your period immediately after giving birth? Please explain the whole process. I answered that. How high is the level of discomfort? Doing number one and two. I answered that. Okay, yeah. So I'm not gonna 
keep answering the same questions the everything else that's left is like frequent questions i've covered more or less all your questions so guys it's in this video it's late where i'm at so i'm glad i could eventually film it thank you so much for watching twasy fam i love you guys thank you for supporting me please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel please we are growing i am so happy with the growth of my channel and it just motivates me to bring that content for y'all even more so yeah we've come to the end of this video thank you for watching and i will catch you guys on the next one bye